Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is your September 2020 reading. I want to apologize, I know I normally do a pick a card reading, but this month time has kind of gotten away from me. I've been a little bit, um, well, insanely busy. So I am just doing a regular reading. We're gonna shuffle, we're gonna take the jumpers, we're gonna read it and see what's going on for you for the month of September. I want to thank you guys so much for all of your kind words and thoughts and prayers. You guys are wonderful and I love you very much. Um, as a Virgo myself, I really appreciate you all. Um, you guys do a lot to help this world and make it better. So thank you. Thank you for all you do. And um, let's get into it. I hope August treated you guys well. I hope um, you were able to work through any problems, any issues that you have. I hope that September only brings you guys happiness because Lord knows you guys deserve some real lasting happiness in your lives. And I'm not just saying that because I want it for myself. I have a Virgo son. I have two Virgo friends. And every single one of them seems to be having a difficult time the last few years. So I really hope that things start turning around for all of us. The last, uh, last few years have been very rough and difficult. So hopefully... Oh, well. We're starting out with the King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. The King of Cups is someone who is jolly, friendly, party animal, always has the best things, knows the best people. Um, I mean, truly does know the best people and has the best things. They take care of the people that they love. We have the Three of Pentacles. This is you growing a solid foundation. Uh, we have the she card here. The she is temperance. I'm going to show you your cards real quick. We have the king of cups, the three of pentacles, which is about building a solid foundation with someone. We have the she card. And the she um, is a card of temperance, a card of balancing your emotions, balancing yourself, figuring out what you want to say, figuring out what you want to do before you say or do it so that you don't hurt anybody. And we have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is a card of happiness, a card of hope, the happy family card, having everything you need, making sure you're leaving enough for your legacy, for your heirs, for your grandchildren in the future. We have the Horned God, which speaks of the Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. This is someone who takes control of their life, who does the things that they need to do for themselves and the people around them. Um, this could also be asking you to take control of your life. We have these guys here. All right. And then at the bottom of your deck, we have the King of Wands, another king here. This is someone fiery, charismatic, exciting, passionate. Someone who is very romantic, very amazing. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. And that is the energy of this reading. We have the Devil card here telling you to be very careful that you're not getting caught up in old habits um, possible obsessions, bad habits. We have the Two of Cups here. Um, this is a new person coming into your life. Someone that you really connect with. Someone that you see as a partner. Someone that you might possibly see as a twin flame. We have the Earth Mother, which is the Empress. The Empress is a card of fertility, a card of growth a card of creativity and of harvest. This is a relationship coming into being. We got three more cards here, so I'm just going to do this real quick. We have the High Priest. When you have these three cards here together, the Two of Cups, the Empress, and the Hierophant, or the High Priest, this is a card of, of marriage. Some of you are going to be engaged, 
in September. Someone's going to propose in September. It's also, we've got the star card here. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be a superstar. You could be feeling like a superstar. This person could be a star. Um, the card is, the star card is also about having hope, having faith. This is divinely guided. This is where you're meant to be. You have a lot of major arcana in this reading so far. And your last card is five of wands. If this is something you love, if this is something you want, you're gonna, you might have to fight for it. But I don't think you're going to have a problem fighting for it. I see this five of wands as working together to solve a problem and not creating one. As for major arcana, you have one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana. In a... 12 card reading. So half of your reading is major. This is a major month for you in September. With the King of Cups and the Devil here, some of you are going to have to be fighting bad habits. This is binging Netflix, staying on YouTube too long, possibly um, dealing with alcohol problems, dealing with drug problems. Um, this can even be figuring out the right medication for uh, an illness to make sure that it's working the best it can for you. Um, but the, you know, because they're right above each other, I kind of see this as there is someone whom you may be sort of, I don't want to say obsessed with, but maybe you're checking their feed, you're seeing what they're doing, you're checking what they're up to on social media. Um, you know, you're, you kind of got a crush on them and you want to build something with them, but you're sort of trying to temper your emotions. You see yourself being happy with them and you want to take control and say something, but you're worried things aren't going to work out, that they're not going to see you that way. So my advice and the cards advice in this respect is to treat it as a really good friendship. Start with friendship first and then harvest what comes after. The relationship comes with time, with growth, with maturation. And this is divinely guided, so it is meant to be. And it may, you guys may need to compromise a little bit more. You guys may be very different. You may be two separate people. One of you may be a king of wands. One of you may be a king of cups. One of you may be a very watery person who is you know, very intuitive and in control of their emotions and empathic and understanding. One of you may be very fiery and, you know, jumping from thing to thing and not understanding the emotions as well. But in this reading, you are coming to compromise. I mean, this is a very beautiful reading, guys. If you're looking for love, you're coming into love. You're going to be finding that in the month of September. It's going to start growing. It's not going to be, I don't think it's going to be like, hello, I am your soulmate. Nice to meet you. Let's get married. Uh, but I do think it's going to be a, you meet this person, you immediately click with this person. You guys are kind of checking each other out. You're letting things grow. You're talking, you're unfolding this relationship in a beautiful way, in the way it was meant to be because you're both passionate about each other. So you're willing to make the compromises necessary to work together and grow this relationship into something happy, <clears throat> into a place where you both feel like you have control, where you both feel like you're kind of having fun with each other, where you understand each other and you're on the same level, where you're growing something beautiful, where this is a solid relationship that will lead you into the future. For those of you looking for financials, there is something there is something that you love coming in. You're going to work hard. This could be a, a water sign coming uh, with a, a job offer or with a proposition for you. Um, you're going to work together with this person to create a solid foundation. You may have to temper your emotions around them. You may have to ask them to temper their emotions around you, but it's going to lead to something happy, especially and something financially successful, especially if you can take control of things. If you can hold on to your confidence and move forward knowing that you are amazing. So you take this control and you kind of bypass the this bad habit 
or maybe you take control, but also have fun in this relationship or in this um, business relationship. You have fun, you work together, you harvest things that you're able to, to create something that brings you to harvest, that brings you to maturation, that allows you to feel like you're providing for yourself and the people that you love. This is something where you may get a promotion because we have an authority figure represented. This is something that is divinely guided that is meant for you. It may be something you have to fight for. So if you're going on interviews this month, if you're looking for work this month, there is something perfect coming your way, but you're going to have to fight for it. You're going to have to do the work. You're going to have to look up the company, make sure you have everything you need to know about it. You're going to have to, you know, take control. Go in that, go into that interview with the confidence that you know what you're doing and don't lie to them. Don't tell them any stories. Be able to handle any critique that they throw at you. And if you don't get the job, don't be all sad about it. Don't get caught up in it and don't get lost in the woe is me of it all. Ask them. Why did I not get the job? Is there something I could do better in the future so that I could interview better? I would really appreciate your time in this. You never know. Calling them back, asking them something like this could be something that tips it more in your favor. They may have a job opening down the line and they may remember you for it. Either way, they may give you what you need. They may be like, well, you fidgeted the whole time. You stared at your watch the whole time. You kept taking your shoe off. You kept picking your nose. You know, something that you may not have noticed you were doing, they may be able to point that out for you so that in the next interview, you're able to do better. But what I really see here is I see opportunity. I see growth. I see creation. I see, you know, tempering. I see things coming together. I see you problem solving. I see you making things better. I see you taking control of your life and moving on a path that is destined for you to make you feel a lot better about yourself and where you're at. To sort of almost like bring a lust for life to you again. Um... And it's something you're willing to fight for. I'm going to do a quick oracle card here. Okay, we have infinite blessings coming your way. We have adventure coming your way. We have let love be your beacon. Contemplation. Infinite blessings. These are all good things, guys. All good things. All for you. All because you were willing to put the work in and do what you needed to do to get there. To do the thing. I'm trying I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a thumbnail and I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Here we go. Because that's beautiful. I'm also gonna do this is a thumbnail. I just, I just want you to see you guys have a lot of good coming your way because you've put a lot of effort and you put a lot of work in. And I feel like many of you have spent the last few years really working on yourself, on where you want to be, on what you want for your life. And you're going to bring it into fruition. You have a lot of major arcana here, Virgo. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> That's a lot. That's half your reading. This is major. September, your, you know, your birth sign month, it's going to be big for you. It's going to bring your passion back. It's going to bring your control back. It's going to bring your happiness, your friendships, your ability to enjoy life. It's going to bring your hope back and it's going to be beautiful if you're looking for work you're going to find it if you're starting your own business it's going to be fruitful if you already have a job you're going to get recognized within that company you're going to get a promotion things like september is going to be a good month for you but you have to make sure that you put the work in, that you do what is necessary to take control and make it head in this path. This is you taking time to work with people and it's going to be seen. So 
that is what I have for you, my lovely, gorgeous Virgos. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. And I want to say again, if you, if you like this reading, hit that like button, subscribe, bell icon, and leave me a comment, you gorgeous, lovely people. Thank you for all you do to make this world a better place. And I hope that this September is, I hope this is for me. Because I want this for me. I want this for you. I want this for all of us. Because gosh darn it, we all deserve it. You deserve it. You're fucking amazing. Realize that, lovelies. All right, now for those of you wondering what cards we used, the oracle cards are Nature's Whispers Oracle by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. And the tarot cards we used are the Green Witch Tarot by Anne Mora and Kiri Estergaard Leonard. And I love these cards. They're absolutely beautiful. So I want to thank you, Virgo, for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. And I hope that you have a wonderful September because you deserve it. I love you guys.